Julian Assange is back in his home country of Australia after ending his years-long legal issues with the United States. The WikiLeaks founder pleaded guilty to obtaining and publishing U.S. military secrets and was released with time served. Assange was accused of receiving and publishing hundreds of thousands of war logs and diplomatic cables that included details of U.S. military wrongdoing in Iraq and Afghanistan. His activities drew an outpouring of support from press freedom advocates. Huge win for Australia and for Australian democracy. This is a huge win for free speech. This is a huge win for Australia that our Prime Minister stood up to our ally, the United States, and demanded the return of an Australian citizen. And that Julian came home today is the product of 14 long years of legal battles, political advocacy, and ongoing campaigning, not just by us, but by so many people in this community. It is unprecedented, unprecedented in the United States uh, to use the Espionage Act to criminally prosecute a journalist or a publisher. Uh, it's uh, in the more than 100-year history of that law. It has never been used in this fashion. Uh, it is certainly our hope uh, that it will never be, again be used in this fashion. Assange, uh, we also heard from Assange's uh, wife, Stella, who spoke about her husband coming home. It took people working behind the scenes, people protesting on the streets for days and weeks and months and years and we achieved it. Assange's arrival ends a saga in which he spent more than five years in a British high-security jail and seven years in asylum at the Ecuadorian embassy in London battling extradition to Sweden on sexual assault allegations and to the U.S., where he faced 18 criminal charges.